So here's why you're going to regret buying a house in 2023. And before you say, wait, aren't you the guy that just said it's a great time to buy? Well, it is a great time to buy, just not for everybody. So we're going to talk about three real reasons why people have home buyers regret. And you'll want to stay to the last one because it might not be something you thought about. So first, let's talk about being house poor. Now, you don't want to buy a house that's so expensive that you can't afford to do anything else. Otherwise, you better love that house because you're going to be there all the time. Because honestly, most likely you're going to get approved for a mortgage for more than you actually want to spend. The reason is when we're looking at your debt to income ratio, we only take out obligations that you have to pay. So things like daycare, vacations, eating out, jet skis. Those are all optional things that you might do, but we don't include them when you're qualifying for a mortgage. So the best way to avoid being house poor is just to make a budget. And there are a ton of apps and programs online that can help you get started on a budget if you've never done one before. But at the very least, the easiest way to do this is either look at your current housing payment or your rental payment, and then look at the new housing payment and figure out where the money's gonna come from for the difference. Because if you don't know, you can't afford it. So the next biggest reason that people have home buyers regret is they overlook big items on the inspection. So if you're not familiar what the inspection is, is you have an inspector go out to the house and kind of go through the whole thing just to make sure it's in good shape. And this is done early on in the process. So that way you know before you go much farther that the house you're buying is structurally sound. But there are certain things that can be very costly. A good example is our last house. We went on vacation and there was a really small warm water leak that came from the kitchen at Sink Island. And that leak cost $40,000 worth of damage. But something like that, if it was caught on the inspection report, we never would have had that problem. So when you're looking at an inspection, Think big ticket items like your foundation, the roof, termites, and water damage. So, and if you're not sure what the inspector says, bring in an expert, it's worth the money. Like if you have foundation issues, call a structural engineer and have them really look at it to make sure there's not gonna be bigger problems down the road. All right, so let's talk about the last reason that people really have home buyer's regret. This might surprise you, but it's the neighborhood. So there's really six factors that you wanna look at when you're looking at a neighborhood. Now, if you've already lived there, then this probably isn't a big deal for you. But if you're moving somewhere like from California to Texas, then yeah, it can be daunting. You don't know the areas very well. And probably the first thing you wanna look at is the schools. And even if you don't have kids, you wanna to move to an area that has a great school district because it's gonna help resale down the road. The second thing you wanna look at is infrastructure. So think, is there a grocery store nearby? Are there restaurants that you can walk to? What about shops and things like that? You wanna make sure the infrastructure in that area fits your lifestyle. So the third thing you wanna look at is the neighbors. Go out there during the day or in the afternoon, are people hanging out or is everyone shut in their house? If you're a very social person, you wanna make sure you're in a social neighborhood. The fourth one, and this is definitely a big one, is what's the crime rate like out there? You can easily look up crime online and for certain neighborhoods, and you definitely wanna to move to a safe one. Fifth, and sometimes this is overlooked, is outdoor activities. Are there parks? Are there bike and walking trails? Are there areas you can go like ponds to go fishing in? If you're an outdoor person, this is a must thing to look at when you're looking at neighborhoods. And six, and maybe the most important, is what's your commute to work gonna be like? If you're gonna be stuck in your car an hour and a half each way every day, that's three hours a day. That's 15 hours a week. That adds up big time. So you definitely wanna make sure that unless you really enjoy commuting, that you don't have to. So these are the three big regrets that we talked about. And the secret to avoiding all of these is planning. And if you wanna learn more, comment regret below. And I can reach out to you. We can schedule a free mortgage consultation to see if it's the right time to buy for you.